What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate, reverse ranch, no hate. So, something I checked out, and I don't need to play the video. Um, Y'all can check that out on your own if you want to. But, um, Blue Blood has a video out right now. And I just peeped this message. And, of course... It's always people that, you know, a lot of times they bring things to my attention. Sometimes I just see things in my news feed. And this was a situation also of people were saying Anthony Joshua is ducking Wilder. So I know whoever's making this coming up with these stories is like, okay, must be somebody that uh they're repeating something that the alphabet boys have said. Or something to that effect. Because I know damn well that uh, there's no story out. There's nothing that happened that you can base that on. So, pretty much what Blue Blood said was Anthony Joshua is ducking Wilder. He's going to duck him. He's not going to fight him. Right? He says, Anthony Joshua, he says Frank Warren, because Frank Warren said that if Anthony Joshua beats Usyk, then Anthony Joshua's gonna fight Joe Joyce. Well, when you're a promoter of someone, you're trying to put your bid in for your fighter. You didn't hear anything from Anthony Joshua or Eddie Hearn. You just heard Frank Warren make his comment. And Joe Joyce is ranked number one by the WBO. So because of that, okay, um, that's what I believe, okay? To make even just a little sense is why Blue Blood is saying that nonsense along with the fact he has nothing else to talk about. So he'll just make up a story and make a movie to this one little piece of information, okay? And also what he said was if Tyson Fury beats Wilder, then it's going to be an all-British showdown, okay? Well, if Tyson Fury beats Wilder, why the hell would Anthony Joshua go and fight the loser of that fight? Why would he fight Wilder instead of fighting Tyson Fury for Undisputed? So that would be completely stupid. I mean, really? Okay, that's like you have a football, you have you have the championship, the NFC uh, 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 um, championship game, right? To get to the Super Bowl. And, and the 49ers beat the Cowboys, but somehow the Cowboys advanced to the Super Bowl. Wouldn't that be as backwards? That's exactly what this would be. Fury wins, but I'm going to fight Wilder. No, he wants undisputed. So, if Wilder has that title, I don't see Anthony Joshua avoiding fighting Wilder. Okay, we don't have to dig up the past. When you have proof, you don't have to keep repeating the same thing. Sometimes we do repeat things because people keep putting these lies out. And it's like, no. But for the same guy that 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 we know factually text Dillian White and said he'd freeze him out for two years, he didn't have to fight him. For the same guy that says Dillian White style is easy, I'll knock him out. For the same guy who turned down $120 million simply because you know the zone wouldn't tell them how much money Anthony Joshua is making. Blue Blood is making it sound like this guy is on a is on a is on a undisputed hunt now. Like, oh, he wants them titles in. No, you don't dictate. Oh, when I want the fight, that's when it happens. Oh, they offer me money that ain't good enough. Well, if you turn down 120 million, what offer could they make you that would be good enough? Especially after you said, I'm not fighting Anthony Joshua for no amount of money. So don't don't wait for it. It's not gonna happen. I've repeated that several times because that's what came out of his mouth. So it's amazing to me how all of a sudden now Anthony Joshua is scared to fight Deontay Wilder. So like I said, the guy has nothing to talk about. So he makes these movies out of one piece of information. And like I said, it, you know, we haven't heard anything from Anthony Joshua or Eddie Hearn. You know what I'm saying? We haven't heard that uh, uh, um, from, from any of them. So to say that this is what's going to happen, well, he's basically speaking to his followers because they'll believe anything that he says. 
and that's pretty much as far as that goes um yeah for undisputed to fight uh uh uh, uh um the, the 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 you know the other one of the other one of, one of the other top heavyweights put it that way okay out of the big three theories that is, is, is that is that other wow the first of all to show you to just to show you how people play this big monopoly game okay with boxing we haven't even had Usyk versus Anthony Joshua yet. We haven't even had Wilder versus Fury three yet. And we're already talking about what Anthony Joshua's going to do or not going to do. What's going to happen if this guy beat this guy back? So here's my thing, right? Let's just say, for example, if Deontay Wilder finds a way to weasel his, if he finds a way to weasel his way out of fighting Deontay Wilder, um, um, Anthony Joshua, right? Let's say that that happens. You already know guys like Blue Blood are going to completely flip a lie up and try to make it like, no, it wasn't Wilder. It was Anthony Joshua. Even if Deontay Wilder came out of his face and said, I have no interest in fighting Anthony Joshua, they'd find, well, you know what it is? They got tired of waiting for Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua kept ducking in the past. So Deontay Wilder just feels like, you know, there's no, I'm not going to get my hopes up high and then he's going to duck me anyway. So, so even though Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn said, I have a contract for X amount of money for you. Sign the contract. Let's make the fight happen. Um, I don't believe that it's true. They, they were going to find a way to lie. Uh, they, they'll make some dumb excuse up. And you know what? Their minions will be sitting right there eating it up like they always do. Which really is the least of anybody's worries, okay, um, involved in the fight. Because at the end of the day, either you want the fight or you don't want the fight. But I don't understand how we even talking about. You no, know, I do understand. I just explained why. What I don't understand is how people are so openly, blindly foolish to just run with these dumb stories in their head, man. He's going duck because such and such said. So at the end of the day, right? When when it's time for negotiations, we first off we got first off we need to see who beats who before we even start talking about that, okay? But when it's time for negotiations, right? And we're talking about guys who have 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 been here for so long. And the fights that we want to see hasn't happened. You can't really, you can't really, if we're going to go off the pass, okay, then we're stuck at the fight ain't ever going to happen, so don't wait for it. Okay? So when I heard the comments being made that AJ's already making excuses by saying he got to fight mandatories when he hasn't even fought, this guy hasn't even fought the third fight with Fury yet. You're talking about AJ. And remember, we're saying, we, this this goes back to Malik Scott saying, how he gets Deontay Wilder prepared for this fight is to eat, sleep, and shit box it. That's what he told Radio Raheem, right? Yet, same time, this dude is making videos talking about everybody and everything other than the third fight. So, if we're going to sit here and keep going back to what this guy said, that guy said, we'll never go forward, okay? And reality is, Anthony Joshua has not showed any sign of I don't want to fight Deontay Wilder. I remember him saying I'm not waiting for Wilder. Which why the fuck should he put his career on hold because Wilder doesn't know what he wants to do. You know, I'm not waiting for Wilder or, or any of these guys. I want Undisputed and I want to fight the top level fighters that's out there. But I'm not going to sit here and wait for somebody to make their mind up. What's wrong with that? That's ducking? That that That's ducking somebody because... You got guys who think that they're bigger than what they are. Now, at the end of the day, right, I'm pretty sure if it did come down to Wilder versus AJ, Wilder does not want to go to the UK to fight. He doesn't want to leave America to fight. He's already expressed that and showed that. Okay, so what does Wilder have to do for people to say, hold up, hold up, Wilder. You want undisputed. You're certainly not the draw, not even in America. You're not the draw. We see what just happened with him and Fury. The so-called two best heavyweights in the division, right? We saw that. The pitiful ticket sales, right? Okay. And and and, and this happened while fights was while they was having open arenas for for you know uh, uh, um, live events again. So ain't no excuse about it. it's because of COVID. No, it wasn't COVID had nothing to do with it. Okay. So you can't go into a fight and you can't draw demanding a certain amount of money like you, you deserve that when you can't draw. You don't put asses in seats. So for you to ask for a ridiculous amount of money because you're considered one of the top three heavyweights, but you don't draw. 
Plus, you're coming off of an ass whooping, and you haven't fought since then. So let's just say if he did beat um um Fury, right? Don't go on and try to overprice yourself to say, no, nah, man, I deserve X amount of money, and I didn't get that. Because we now know, like, Fury and, and, and Wilder couldn't draw, right? We know that Madison Square with Garden was packed out for, for, for um Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz. Ain't nobody show up for no goddamn Andy fucking Ruiz. Okay? Does Andy Ruiz sell? Did, did he sell out an arena in his last fight against, against uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Chris Ariola? We know damn well Andy Ruiz ain't the draw. And initially the fight was against Jarrell Miller. Jarrell Miller. Is Jarrell Miller considered one of the top heavyweights? Is he considered the top five? No. No. Nobody's talking about Jarrell Miller. And they wasn't talking about him then. So who was the draw? It was because of Anthony Joshua making his American debut. And he brought a lot of Brits over here with him as well. So we know who the draw is. So when you go into a fight saying, oh, because of me. And I'm a... Okay, so this will make Deontay Wilder a two-time WBC champion, right? Okay. He can't go in there talking about he want 50-50. He can't go in there talking about he want the lion's share of the money. You don't draw. Tyson Fury, okay? And, and Deontay Wilder's fight had like it looked like, in all honesty, the amount of tickets that were sold, it's like, damn. Nobody wants to come to this fight. And these are the two best heavyweights in the world? Okay. Did people forget that or something? Because they're not showing any love for this fucking fight. And because one of you beat the other... That means you you deserve 50-50, and here's the crazy part. All before that happened, when, when Fury and AJ was about to fight, AJ wanted to fight so bad, he said 50-50. He could have he easily said Fury. I got one loss on my record, and I avenged it. You've never defended your titles. Ever. Ever. And I don't care what you did in the past. I'm unified champion right now. I'm a bigger draw than you are. He could have used all that against Fury. You understand what I'm saying? He could have. He said 50-50. This way, there's no bullshit about, oh, I need more money. Oh, well, because it, no. 50-50, and let's negotiate and make this make the fight happen. This is this is Anthony Joshua. Who was on the other side going, you know, uh, I don't want to get my hopes up high. You know, yeah, 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 there's a lot of things that can prevent the fight from happening. Who was the one talking like they didn't want the fucking fight? Like there was no interest. Okay. And all of a sudden, got some uh, good news. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, official that the fight is on. And just to have a day later. Nope. Nope. You have to fight Wilder. Same person that was going to court for this situation, this arbitration, all that, right? Who, who? So you think Fury didn't know what was what was going on? And even if he didn't know the final verdict at that at that moment, the point is he had to know that things wasn't looking good, man. You got attorneys, man. You got look. Listen, man. When that fight was called off, and it turns out he had to fight Wilder, then that fight doesn't happen. Then there's always something going on to prevent the fights from going on, right? Okay. So understand this. When he says. He'll do this and that to Anthony Joshua. He'll do this and that to Deontay Wilder. He'll do this and that. And all these heavyweights are bums. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Who is it that you guys want to see Tyson Fury fight? Right now, if you could pick anybody other than Anthony Joshua, would it be Dylan White? Most of us don't have an interest in the third fight against Wilder. So, do you want to see him? Who do you want to see him fight? Do you want to see him fight Joe Joyce? Do you want to see him fight Usa? Who do you want to see him fight? Take Fury out the picture. Aside from Anthony Joshua, who do you want to see Deontay Wilder fight? Do you want to see him? Would you rather? Let me put it like this. Who would you rather see them fight? Would you rather see them fight anybody else other than Anthony Joshua? Now, I can understand, okay, if the fight with Joshua don't materialize, yeah, you fight another top guy. But what I'm saying is anybody that you'd rather see 
Fury or Wilder fight other than Anthony Joshua. And if you as fans say, nah, we want undisputed. No, we want. Then you don't think that these fighters know that? You don't think Anthony Joshua feels that? And he's the only fucking heavyweight that's talking about undisputed. And other than him, Dillian White make mentions of it here and there. But even Dillian White turned the fucking fight down, the rematch down. Because he said it was bullshit money that they was offering him. And I think it was like $7 million or something like that. Okay. Understand something. Dillian White's not a fucking draw either. He's no huge draw either. So what I'm saying, he, 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 I tell you what, he's never had a fight, had an issue with putting asses in seats the way Wilder and Fury did in America. <coughs> you know, I don't know. Fury, well, White's not a star in America, okay? But what I'm saying is he's never had that issue of fighting over in the States. I mean, fighting out of the States and, 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 and being able to, you know, get decent crowds in. And, and it's been always too. You got to look at who's on the undercard. So it's not always just one particular fighter. But a guy like AJ, who we know, AJ is that guy. He's the draw in the heavyweights. He wants undisputed. He's been pushing for this. And that's why he's fighting. First off, let's understand something. If AJ didn't want undisputed, he could have easily gave his titles up. And like he said, I can give up a title, fight you know, Fury or or, 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 or or Wilder, then go back and fight for that same title I gave up, right? Because whoever has it is going to want to fight for Undisputed. Not necessarily. But why do you think he didn't give his titles up? I, I didn't think it was a good idea. No, I'm going to fight my mandatory. No, he didn't give his man his, his, his titles up because he's he scared to fight Wilder. No, the same guy who went silent for over a year, scared to fight for what? He lost his fight. He bounced back, he won, and pretty much Wilder is still in the position of trying to avenge that loss. So, I mean, to sit here and say, oh, I don't even care about the excuses they make up, the lies they make up, because you, for you to say he's ducking this man when he is the one, the only, their side is the only one that sent offers out. And I don't want to hear nothing about so that bullshit $50 million. But I don't even want to hear that garbage about, no, you got 40, 20, 24 hours or whatever it was. And, uh, and that's it. No meeting, no sit down, no explanation. Who the fuck does business like that? That's some crackhead shit. That's crackhead business. That's not how you negotiate. So this, 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 these lies that people are putting out about, you know, let's not forget. There was a time where videos was coming out. And something happened with Wilder's name and Blue Blood was saying, we control the narrative. Okay? We control the narrative. Narratives are not facts and proof. Narratives is something that you make up. Okay? Something that you see a certain way. Well, I think it's this. It's just an opinion. So when he says, we control the narrative, and yeah, my opinion, I'm going to force on other people. This is what I'm going to tell these people that believe in what I say. That's what we're pushing for. So don't, 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 don't even talk about no fucking 50 million because... Like I said, that's crackhead business. Only a broke-ass fighter. Okay, only a broke-ass fighter with, with, oh, 50 million? Oh, hell yeah, I'll take that. No, no, okay, just show me what a sign. They could do that any kind of way. They can find some, and, if, and for them to do it that way, I strongly believe the only reason why they would do it that way is because they was going to, there'll probably be some shit like we're going to pay you fucking $20 a fucking year. Okay, for the next exit, I'm just saying, some dumb shit, just just something dumb, and hey, you agreed to it, man. You understand? Something stupid. Otherwise, you negotiate and do business like you always do. Not no fucking give somebody an ultimatum with 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 with, with the uh, time frame on a contract within 28 to 48 hours or whatever it was. We know better. So what I'm saying is this, y'all. If you are going to make videos and you're going to sit here and put lies out like they always do and it's not going to stop because i'm making this video but at the end of the day this is also like i've been saying part of what's a part of what's wrong with boxing because if you look at what's going on and listen to the people talking they're not talking about nothing based on facts they're not talking about nothing that we can say okay well we heard this fighter say this we heard that no it's based on people coming up on these YouTube channels. See, what, what people seem to forget, YouTube has a big influence on a lot of things in a lot of ways, promotional-wise and information-wise, whether the information is accurate or not, okay? People tell lies on TV as well, but YouTube is not TV, okay? YouTube is not TV. 
and understand something even when when a lot of these channels like people get like high high views a lot of it is 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 the same people watching videos more than one time because if you think about something right for a channel to have you know 300 300,000 subscribers right they're not going to get all 300,000 people to watch their videos every single time that's why sometimes these videos I have 70,000 views some videos they make it have 30,000 views it goes up depending on what you're talking about and so what they do because see they, they base things on these algorithms so they know if they say something Anthony Joshua is going to duck they know as soon as they see that a bunch of people gonna flock to that shit. They already know that's how that's gonna happen. So they just make up these videos and the title means a lot. It's like right now. <laughs> if I made a video saying Aries punches Deontay Wilder in his fucking mouth, how many oh oh somebody named, what? Oh shit. That's what they do. They sit here and give you these bullshit titles, and then when you watch the video, it's not what you thought. This is why I'm saying for people that follow that and don't catch on to what I just explained to them. They think they just got some news. Yeah, yo, you you, you know that dude, Anthony Joshua, Duck and Wilder, right? Hell yeah, man. That motherfucker, yo, he, yo, you know what he's doing? That all you're going to do is repeat what Blue Blood said without saying Blue Blood said. Unless the person they talk to, yeah, yeah, I saw Blue, yeah, Blue Blood said the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. And this is what they do. So now they walk around saying that this guy's going to do something based on something that somebody else said that has no proof of any of that. If Anthony Joshua beats Usyk, right? He's not going to go and fight Joe Joyce. Not right away anyway, if that was to happen. When now I just had my fight. Let me rest up. Get back sharp again. Get right back in. Let's see what happens with, you know, this WBC championship fight. Because I want the winner. Why is he going to go load up to go fight uh, uh, somebody before these before these two guys? No. They're fighting not too far apart, first of all. So, the winner of that fight, that's who Anthony Joshua wants to fight. So, if we're going to say he's going to duck, no, without any actual logical sense of, of, of not any, any anything that makes any logical sense they keep out their conversations so if we're going to make decisions based on well i just think because because what because frank warren said some shit no it's not how that goes man that's not how that goes so that's the lie that he told that's what he's making up now my thing is if we're going to sit here and we're going to play Let's see who who fights who, who does this. And then we're going to sit here and play connected dots. What all we got to do is sit back and just listen and observe. That's all. I I don't want to be, I don't want to be seen as some, some guy that can predict the future. And I don't know. Sometimes you think something's going to happen and it doesn't happen close, not even close to what you think. That's just life. Stuff happens. A fighter who you think is going to be the certain fighter, guess what? That night, nope. Yeah, that, that 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 what you thought, what you saw from the past, that fighter didn't show up that night, or that fighter showed up, but the other fighter showed up even more. It happens, so it's not about oh, I just want to be right every time I speak. Yeah, of course, if I give you information, yeah, I want to be right. Of course, if I say something, I want to be right. But I understand opinions are opinions. Like I always say, opinions are always seen as being subjective okay because everybody gonna see something a certain way whether bias or whether they really genuinely feel a certain way you cannot argue facts plain and simple you cannot argue facts all you're doing is basically talking saying a whole lot of nothing because facts are facts whether you like the facts or not whether you agree with the facts or not you don't like the outcome of something that's all fine but for you to say okay for you to sit here and say Anything other than what the facts are, then basically you just change the whole conversation and it's meaningless and pointless. So we will have to wait to see the outcome. And again, I'm not interested in Fury versus Wilder 3. So when that fight happened, I will not be watching that fight just for the sake of the boxing news, you know, because I'm not going to take somebody else's word for what happened. When I decide to watch it, however, 
I'll give the boxing news about what I think. I'm not ordering it, and I'm going. To, I'm not going to somebody's house to watch it. I just have no interest in it. And it's really just something I'll just get it over with, get it out the way, so we can move on, and hopefully we can get undisputed in boxing and have something interesting to watch in the heavyweight division. Because in all honesty, I'm really sick and tired of all the talking about the same guys over and over and over, and nothing's happening but just talk, 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 talk. Malik Scott, same way, same guy like I just said, the same thing about, you know, he just want Deontay to eat, sleep, and shit boxing. Every time I see turn around, now this guy's doing a video talking about how Deontay's going to do this, Deontay's going to do that. He just wants to assure everybody that Deontay's still training, and he's just getting sharper and better every day, and blah, blah, blah. And my thing is, okay, that's all good. Just make sure he show up and in, in, in show it in the ring. That's all. I, I don't care about you talking about what he's doing. That's fine. That's all well and good. But just make sure that the night of the fight, when he shows up, there's no excuses. If he loses again, he just got his ass whooped for, uh, for a third fucking time. And nobody's going to want to hear that bullshit. And at that point, aside from his minions, nobody really would give a fuck about seeing him fight Anthony Joshua. Because now, okay, you want to rebound, right? Then fight Dillian White. Stop all this soft touch bullshit. You fight a Joe Joyce. You fight an Andy Ruiz. You fight another top guy. Let's see. Uh, even with all this, oh man, he'll beat Andy Ruiz. Maybe. But guess what? We don't need you to tell us what he'll do. We need to see it. We need clarification. Your word means nothing. We need to see it. Simple. Just like I said, I think AJ can beat all these heavyweights. But what do I say? I can't prove to you that he's going to beat everybody. He has to prove it by getting in the ring and fighting. I believe he's the best heavyweight out there. Can I prove that to you? No. Do I need to prove it? No, I don't need to prove it to you. AJ needs to prove it. That's not even an argument for me. I don't care that much. I don't, my, I, my job is not to convince you that AJ is the best out there. No, I'm just giving you my opinion. But I can't go in there and fight for AJ. I can't. He has to prove that shit. So me trying to prove it to you, I can tell you he has the best resume in the heavyweights. I can say Dylan White had the second best resume. You know what I'm saying? Yet, even still, you got people saying that, oh, Tyson Fury will outbox him. Tyson Fury will do this and this and this. And then when I say, you guys don't remember he fought Otto Wiley and struggled, right? Okay, so when you guys say that 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 uh, uh, AJ struggled with, 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 with Povetkin, which, no, he didn't struggle. He was in a fucking fight. And he won and he knocked the guy out. He got rocked by Dylan White in the second round and they fight or whatever it was. Okay. And he, he didn't go down. And regardless, he knocked Dylan White out. Okay? Both of these guys are respected. Otto Wallin is a decent fighter. Not good. He's decent. Decent fighter. Okay? And Fury struggled. He struggled. And there was people making, well, you know, Fury, he's going through it. Stop. Stop. With the, see, stop. Stop. You don't say Anthony Joshua's going through something. No. He went through a fight. That's what he went through. So when you get hit and when you, you know, you, people always say, we don't know what this fight is made of. We never seen him in deep waters. We never seen him have to go through this and this. But then when you see them go through it, you want to point it out as if it's a bad thing. Instead of, hey, he passed the test. Now we know what he'll do when he gets rocked. Now we know what, what he'll do when this happens. Now we know what he'll do in this situation. That is some hateful, ignorant, childish naive uneducated nonsense to think that a fighter of especially a fighter who goes in there and is known for hitting you with hard shots and trying to get you to out of there to think that they're gonna go in there and not get touched you the same people that sit there and bitch about floyd mayweather style of peekaboo i hit you you don't hit me which is what boxing really is supposed to be but for those who don't mind walking around with no top teeth and smiling, looking stupid, they face all busted up, all the scar tissue showing and all that shit. They just go like that and the fucking start bleeding over the eye. Literally. I know people right now that can just, and that shit start bleeding. So if that's, and, and guess what? Not only that, they're fucking broke. So you did all this and people, rah, rah, this fucking fighter is this and this. But you ain't got nothing to show for that shit. But a highlight reel that you or your family not even making money of, off of. But ESP it is Yeah All this other You ain't getting a fucking penny for it But you got this highlight reel And you broke So anyway <laughs> At the end of the day y'all There's just more talk More blah blah Out there And that's what it's about And that's all it's about So when I saw this video I just felt like yeah Okay Same old thing 
No facts. Just talking. Anyway, never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people, and I will catch y'all in the next video.